extended speech uh, talk by Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center in Kerala, where he's just about announced the names and, uh, of course, the, pi the four pilots there who are present, where he honored them with the wings, the astronaut ah, wings, a uh, symbolism there that or these Pranamad men who are currently being trained in the, in the ISRO Space Center of Karnataka, Bengaluru, uh, they're all set to take off on, a, on the first manned mission, Gaganyan, India's first manned mission that Prime Minister Modi says we are so proud of, uh, listing, listing out the number of missions that India has pulled off in the recent past with a budget. In fact, the Prime Minister also is likely to unveil Gaganyan mission. As we see here, he's uh, announced the names of the four pilots who are all group captains or wing commanders. Four of them, if I could read out their names yet again, as the Prime Minister himself has said, Group Captain Prashant Balakrishnan Nair, Group Captain Ajit Krishnan, Group Captain Angad Pratap, Wing Commander Subhanshu Shukla. These are the four pilots who will be taking off on the first manned mission uh, into space. An orbit of 400 kilometers, a three-day mission, and then will be brought back safely to Earth. Very interesting to hear the Prime Minister there as he visits the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center in Tiruvananthapuram, Kerala. He speaks extensively of, about this Gaganyan mission. In fact, it's a, a, develop, a development cost for Gaganyan itself has come up to nearly 1,800 crores, all uh, supported by the central government. And he listed out the capabilities of uh, India's space mission. The first, uh, the number of them that have happened in the past, this Gaganyan mission will be the first, though, which will have a pilot in that mission. Uh, four pilots, in fact, he's uh, even named them, and that's the visual that we see there. Four pilots who will take off on this Gaganyan mission. He even bestowed them with the astronaut wings today uh, to those astronaut designates. Four of them who are either wing commanders or group captains. Those are the visuals that you see there, India's space mission. Let me cut across to Akshita Nanda Gopal, joining us from the newsroom. Akshita, give us more. Gaganyan, the first space mission that will be manned. Four pilots to go on this mission. Uh, give us more on the details. What does this mission really intend to accomplish? Well, extremely exciting news because, Nabila, for the last many months for space enthusiasts like me, there have been so many questions about who the chosen ones will be. The four men who you see on your screens are going to be scripting history here in India. It's the first Indian part of an Indian space mission to make their way into space. You have, in fact, three group captains, Group Captain Prashant Balakrishnan Nair, Group Captain Angad Pratap, Group Captain Ajit Krishnan, and also Wing Commander Shukla. Four of them who are a part of this mission. You saw the Prime Minister very symbolically pin wings onto their uniform as well. But for 13 months, this entire project has been kept under wraps. For 13 months, they've been undergoing training. In Bengaluru, a facility has been set up just for their training, where they're undergoing rigorous physical and mental training. And as the Prime Minister pointed out, part of their training is also undergoing yoga sessions, which is so important to ensure that mentally and physically they're fully ready for the task ahead. Also internationally, we know that they went to a Russian Space Institute also to be a part of training. NASA has also played an active role to ensure that they're fully ready for the Gaganyan mission. And then 13 months, of course, they've been training. Now there is a lot more training that they will undergo. And in a few months from now, they'll be set to go to space. It's a huge moment, of course, for India. And the world will be watching the Gaganyan mission. There are, of course, a few more tests that have to be conducted. The cryogenic engine phase has been done. You saw also the abort test that was done in October very successfully. So the emergency backup tests are also taken care of. We're expecting that at the end of this year or latest, by early 2025, these men who we're so incredibly proud of will be making their way into space. It's a three-day mission, essentially, 400 kilometers into orbit and then back 
into Indian uh, seas. So they'll be back landing into the Indian seas after which their port will be recovered by the Indian Navy. So it's a hugely monumental moment for us in the country. Of course, we're all wondering those questions of why these four men were chosen. They are, of course, currently with the Air Force, all active pilots. So obviously they've got that expertise already. But flying in the skies, flying uh, and being a part of a mission that's into space is obviously monumentally different. So while the uh, specs that they've seen have been chosen for several reasons, they're all young, extremely fit. Uh, and you saw that, of course, in the images with the prime minister as well. But they're still undergoing a lot more training. And I'm talking about microgravitational training, which is happening in the Bengaluru facility, physical training that we've been seeing videos of, which ISRO also released, to show us just a glimpse of what they've undergone in the last 13 months. So all four of them will be on board the Gaganyaan mission in just a few months from right. now. Lovely. We're waiting to see this mission progress. In fact, the second quarter of 2024 uh, is uh, when we believe this mission will be likely ready to take off. The first manned mission, Gaganyaan, to make history for India. Thanks very much, Akshita, for joining us.